Oilers at Sabres. Miko Koskinen looks like he is now comfortable playing every second day. You know, it's tough being a starter in the NHL. There's a more quantity of games than what he's used to in Europe. And he now seems like he understands what it takes and what it's like he's been playing well. Tom Marino says Edmonton has been playing great or horribly the whole year. Right now they look great. They do. Uh, Eddie Oyer says Sabres have gone over five in a row. I'm a little uncomfortable with the over. In fact, now, the reason why I won't take either, any total, and one of the reasons why I'm on the Oilers is Linus Yolmark is suspect. 14-9-4, 3.06 goals against average, 909 save percent. Here's a guy who's not comfortable taking a load of, of, of starting every second day. It's very, very difficult. Let's look at this. Oilers are on their fifth and final game of their road trip. Now, that's often a spot where I think teams want to go home, but not at this time of year, not with 15 or 16 games left in the season. And unbelievably, this 28, 30, and 7 Oilers squad, who's been good, on, good enough on the road all year, 14, 15, and 5, actually has a chance at this wild card spot. Tomorrow you know, saying Edmonton 4 and 2 last six. They only lost to be in the playoff teams. Rapport Wano saying lock of the day Clippers. Wow. So we got a couple guys on the club. Rico Money and Rapport Wano on the Clippers. Uh, and and uh, we had the earlier Clippers call, which I found um, very, very interesting, which we'll talk about. Adam Lastman in the house. Mr. Gokster says, you'll mark confirmed too. Uh, Scott says, I keep saying to lean in, in from off camera, twitching his mustache. I have a feeling we'll be seeing him very soon. Okay, so. This road trip opened with a 3-2 loss at Nashville. Followed that up with that 6-2 loss at Toronto. That was very ugly. Remember, that was McDavid's first game back after that two-game suspension. So he comes back. They get destroyed. Then they win 4-2 in Ottawa. We had that. That was, one of, that was our giant 6-0 day on Thursday after hanging with Spidey. Then they have that 4-0 big shutout win at Columbus. Dry side. Let's, let's talk about why these guys are playing so well. Why these guys are playing. Oh, wow. Jared Trader says, please keep me in your prayers as I have a procedure being done at U of M Hospital in Ann Arbor tomorrow. Thanks. Jared Trader, we will all, all low baggers right now, please send energy to our man, low bagger, Jared Trader. You will get through what is going on tomorrow and you will come out the other end healthier and ready to cap. We love you, Jared Trader, and we are sending energy to you right now. Okay. <clears throat> Gate Pass Key says, Oilers are playing with a fire in their belly and the Sabres are trending back to where they belong. McDavid will want to remind Eichel who the best player in the league is Oilers money line. I agree. Uh, Eddie Oilers says the only real edge here for Buffalo is their home ice. We're all on the same page here except for the initial feels of the Sabres that some of the cappers were talking about. Okay. Dry Seidel scores a goal and two assists over the Jackets. Jackets are a tough team. Uh, his goal was his 40th of the season. So <clears throat> Dry Seidel becomes the first Oiler to get 40 goals in 65 games since Jimmy Carson did it as a 20-year-old in 1988-89. Very strange career for the second overall pick, Jimmy Carson. That was, that was the end. Because that year, uh, he did it in 55 games. And he was the big piece in the Wayne Gretzky trade. He scored four goals over his final 25 games. He never did anything again. His high scoring season was 34 goals, 69 points after that. So Dreisaitl joins Stamco, so Vetchkin, Crosby, Kovalchuk. His players, 23 or younger, to score 40 goals in the season's first 65 games since 99-2000. His 40th goal makes him the first German player, German-born player to ever reach that mark. And after McDavid, he became the second Oilers player since number 85, Peter Klima, to score 40 goals in a year. Klima did that in 1991. Okay, so this Sabres team is done to me. They trail the Penguins and the Canadians by nine points. They're done to me. Now, I know I've talked about how bad this Oilers group of wingers are. I think they're the worst wingers in the league. But McDavid and Dreisaitl are so dominant that I think that they continue to roll. This is a healthy Oilers squad. Shout out to Ron Crawford. Uh, Eddie Oilers says Messier slammed Jimmy Carson up against the wall. No doubt about it. Uh, Carson had questionable character issues, and uh, that doesn't surprise me. That's an interesting story, though, Eddie Oilers, that I would love to hear. Sabres are just 9-14-2 in 2019. They're coming off that 5-2 loss at Toronto on Saturday night. They're not showing much. Palmonville scored his 15th. Sheary scored his 12th. Where is... Their first line. Their first line is not around when they need them. I still think Eichel is a great player, but there's a reason why the Hurricanes got rid of Skinner and became a much better team. Now, it's not Skinner not getting rid of him that made them a better team, but there's a reason why they got rid of him. Now, Sabres have lost top four defense in Jake McCabe. He left Saturday's game against Ronald with undisclosed injury. They've been playing without Sabaka, fourth line center. Richie Rich says Edmonton should be favored here, and I'm on the Edmonton Oilers' money line. I love the way that they're playing. Let's quickly line shop. SBRodds.com. We're going to jump on NHL money lines here. Edmonton and uh, wow. Wow. So 
Interesting. So even in the last 45 minutes, some money has been coming in on Buffalo, which is interesting. So now bet online, giving me the best spot here. Bet online giving me a plus 114. I bet online. Now I'm gonna have to switch over to the different my uh, God, on Safari so I can get my openers for that, and I'll do that right now. But I'm gonna jump on this plus 114 here. Uh, betting odds, NHL plus 114 on the Oilers, and I like this spot. I like this spot. I I think that it could be a lower scoring game, even though your mark is questionable or susceptible or whatever, however, whatever term you want to use. But uh, and Eddie Oilers says Oilers Sabres lean under six and a half. I thought there were only sixes on this. How are you getting six and a, <coughs> excuse me, six and a half? Well, I guess you're betting up or, or, or you know, paying up to six and a half because there's only sixes right now. It's a little bit juice to the over. I agree. I, if they were hanging a six and a half, I'd be all over it. I'd be all over it. And let's just quickly look at the money lines just to see where it was opened at. It was opened at plus 107 to bet online, and now it's at plus 114. And... Drew Martin will be joining us soon to break down this college basketball card. A nice amount of games, 16 of them, so we can really get through all of them and, and understand them all. But definitely watch the big new show, SBR's Madness, starring Maxwell Smart and Drew Martin. Rico Money says Edmonton is 8-22 and in last 30 as a dog. You know, Rico Money, there's times in the NHL where I think you put a line through long-term trends. And I do it often. And this would certainly be one of them. This Oilers team has had a roller coaster ride, and then they have the that road trip. Two of the games, McDavid doesn't play them. They look great in the road trip. They go two zero and two. Then they get McDavid back, and they get killed six two. And then they seem to figure some things out. They're tightening up their defensive play. They're allowing Drysaddle and McDavid to be in control of everything offensively. <clears throat> I really like the spot. Uh, Mikey D says Oils deceptively playing well. Uh, Rico Money leaning over. I would only lean over because of your mark, but I would probably take a... Ah, you know what? I'm going to stay away from this total. But I really like Oilers' money line. I'm on them plus 114. That's the play that I know I'll be making on this NHL card. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry-leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now, the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.